In today's video, I'm going to show you how to end the dragon's tyranny and finally meet up with Gimli and the king on the outside. I'm your boy Winner Phoenix, and if this video helps you in any way, drop a like and a comment to see even more just like this. Let's get started. The first thing you'll need to do is manage your way through Bara Zimbar, because this place is a twisted and knotted mess to get through. Without this video, that is. Teleport to the Mithril Load. Yes, the game is procedurally generated and blah blah blah, but put your pitchforks down and let me explain. The dragon is located in the Boneyard, and it's one level below this map stone. I've killed this thing on a few worlds now, and it's never changed. The exact route isn't the same, but the concept is. Once at this map stone, you'll want to find a cavern, just like this one. This network of caves will have an access point to get us to that level beneath us. Traverse your way through here to the last orb town, but this one's a little bit different. Now that we're here, it's also time to set up one of our last QRF outposts to prepare for this orb town, which is full of orcs that cause darkness damage and demon wards up the freaking wazoo. So before we talk deets, let's talk about weapons and what else to bring. I would recommend you take the time to get the Mastercraft Mithril Spear because this thing slaps. It has the highest DPS with its charge attack and shreds the endgame mods and dragon herself. A basic shield will do and Durian's armor to ward off any darkness damage you take from melees or projectiles hurled your way. There are plenty of map stones along the way, so don't get too stressed out about losing your armor. Your health is more important, and you don't want to be taking too much to spare damage. For those of you who like to block with your face more than your shield, I would recommend at least two stacks of pastries for the maximum healing. Destroy the campsites in the name of preventing forest fires and keep them moving. There's no giant room and angry orc to stomp out as the boneyard is the final room, but I did find this lonely guy. Swiss cheeser. Come on up here, buddy. Good old Swiss cheeser. Sir. Who's this right now? Why is this guy so buff? I mean. I can't do any damage, but... Oh god. At the end of town, you'll come across the Well of Shadows, and at the opposite end of that is the entrance to the Boneyard, along with another map stone. Tell home and prepare to take down the dragon once and for all. Oh, nice. The dragon nice. is a three-stage fight, and this first oh. stage is probably the most chaotic it's going to get. I'll show you how to minimize that and the best strategy to get through it all. Can I RP walk this? Okay. Once you enter the room, she'll poetically introduce you to her horde and immediately calls for help. Don't waste any arrows on her in this room, as she doesn't take any damage in this stage because it's more of an endurance test. She'll throw fireballs at you from a distance as you have to deal with the waves of mobs as she summons. There's no definite number of how many waves, but hide behind this giant rock and minimize the damage she can cause to you from the background. Handle all her mobs here and stay out of her line of sight. Her attacks do damage her own mobs, and she'll begin to get irritated if you withstand enough of her low-level mobs. She'll then fly off and the chase to stage 2 begins. Is it? Is this like a little endurance stuff? Easy. Correct, nerd. Lost all my armor. Stage 2 is by far the easiest thing you'll do in this game, and it's basically a collection of everything you've been doing to get to this point. Build your way down into her next corridor. No. What kind of bullshit is this? I walked off to my death. Make her aware of her misdeeds and begin to ascend the jagged rocks. You are destroying Casa Doom! The dragons above have never landed on me, but there are a few of them hiding in the rocks. They are your typical basic shadow drakes and can be dealt with easily at this point. There is nothing stopping us from finishing this fight. If you had a tough time in the first part, take the time to go through the last map stone and heal up. But there is another one at the top of this mountain, so just be wary. Either way, make your way to the top and activate the last map stone you'll ever need. Unless you stick around to the end and hear a little secret I have, then you'll be using a lot more map stones, but not today. Today, this is the last map stone, and we go into the final stage of the fight. Stage 3 in the final phase of this fight, she's conveniently moved into the old Balrog's place and isn't aware of the property taxes are about to go way up. 
You have ruined it all! And now, you will face my wrath! Durin, Auli, grant me strength. You think he's cornered me? Now that you've got her cornered, it's time for that Covenant 1v1. We aren't quite ready to take her out yet, as there is one last trick up her sleeve. She's backed herself into a dark area of the place and won't take any damage. She'll continue to cast fireballs and insults at you in a 2 prime attack. She's going after your physical being and your mental state of health. Exchange some fun clips with her, but when you want to end her once and for all, pull out your strongest weapon, the pickaxe, and start smashing one of the four columns around the room, supporting the very ragged looking ceiling above her. Eventually it'll come crashing down and reality starts to set in for both parties. The ceiling collapse exposes her to the sunlight and shreds her defenses. The light is so bright it even blinds her, and she begins to wail and attack literally blindly. Now that we're faced with an elderly blind woman, it's pretty much a cakewalk. Take out your mithril spear, walk past her snapping jaws, poke her exposed tummy, and roll out. Rinse and repeat till the desired results are achieved, and you've done it. You senior citizen terrorizer you. The dragon is dead, and the adamant hammer recipe is finally unlocked. Time to go home. I hope this video helped you out. You may have noticed my velvety smooth voice this time around, and that's thanks to the flu. With any luck, I'll be over it soon and back to 100% to answer any and all questions you all might have. But not just here in the comment section, but also on my new Discord server. Come on by and join the cause to answer the call. I'm looking to form a team of dwarves to return the Darrow Dwarf to its former glory. I want to make a video with all of us working together and create a community for all players to meet up and start their own journeys together. All the information will be pinned in my comments and I hope to see you all then. Like and subscribe nerds, bye! The first Mithril Durin ever mined. So much of our fate is tied to this stone. The heart of the dwarves has been found. At last, Durin can wake to lead us all into Casa Doom. The fight against the Shadow must continue, led by our new Lord of Moria. Hazen Gimli, you were right this time. Well done, young hero. Now, we celebrate! It was a pickaxe. <laughs> All along, Uncle Balin thought it was a great weapon. And a dragon? Oh. I have some tales to tell, Lord of Moria. Alas, I may not be here when Durin returns. I made promises, you see, to meet Aragorn in Minas Tirith, see Merry and Pippin again, hmm. to make one final trip with Legolas. Perhaps hear the Lady of the Wood again. But your story doesn't end here. Oh no. This is your company now. May its deeds be long remembered. Farewell. And may the luck of the dwarves be ever with you.